Hey, so today we're going to do everything that we need to do to get Apple, Android and Windows devices enrolled into Systems Manager. We'll need an Apple ID for Apple's push notification service, a Google ID for Android Enterprise, and if you're going to use Apple's ADE or VPP, we'll need an account with the relevant roles for school.apple.com or business.apple.com as well. So let's get started. So firstly, we're going to log into the Meraki dashboard. And I'm going to make the assumption that nothing is set up in here. So you'll see all of my organizations. The first thing that we need to do is go to our organization. And we're going to create just a really simple network. Uh, we're going to give it the name such as um, SM. And we're going to tell it to be an SM network and click Create Network. The reason for this is it now allows us to set up all of the MDM capability. So we're going to go to Organizations and MDM. And the first thing that we're going to do is set up Android Enterprise. We'll click Get Sign Up URL. We'll click on the URL itself. This takes us to the Google Android Enterprise page. We'll sign in using our aforementioned Google ID. We'll click on the link to enroll and we are all good. That's our Android already set up. So now let's set up APNS. We're going to click on the CSR, which will download. And now we're going to go to identity.apple.com forward slash push cert. We'll log in using our generic Apple ID. We'll have our two-factor auth set up. And what we're going to do is create a new server that you see in the top right-hand corner. Now, give this a sensible name after you've accepted the T's and C's so that you don't get mixed up if you've got multiple servers like me. So I'm just putting the organization name in here. We'll choose our CSR that we downloaded earlier. And now we can download the, the certificate. Let's go back to the Meraki dashboard. Let's type in the admin ID that we used to log in to identity.apple. Let's upload the PEM and let's click Save. And that's our APNS done. Now we can actually test the certificate as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can see that the cert is valid. So let's move on to the next step, which is ADE and VPP. So let's click Add New. We will download, we will log in to school.apple.com in this particular case. And what we're going to do is click on the bottom left hand corner and click preferences. We are going to now add a new MDM server and we'll give this a name which matches our organization. Doesn't need to, but it's just really helpful if you do. Let's download the PEM that you see here. And this creates a secure binding between Systems Manager and Apple. Let's upload that, click Save. And this will now allow us to download the token. So let's go back to the Meraki dashboard. We'll drag our token that we've just downloaded into here. We will select a default network that you see towards the top. And let's click Update. So that's our ADE done. Let's click Save just to be on the safe side. And now let's configure VPP as well. So VPP is slightly different in the process. We're going to go to locations and we're going to add a new location as you see here. Again, really sensible if you give this the same title as the org Meraki organization. And now what we can do is click on the bottom left-hand corner 
and we'll click Preferences. We're going to go to Payment and Billing and you'll see the server that we've just created earlier. And there it is, we'll download the, the token again. We'll go back to our Meraki dashboard and we're going to click Add New. We will just drop the VPP token in there and everything should populate for us. So let's go ahead and click Update and then Save. So that's our VPP and ADE done. The next thing that we do need to do is to actually go and get a license for the Systems Manager application. So we're going to go to Apps and Books. We're going to search for Systems Manager or Meraki in this case. There's Systems Manager right there. Let's get 100 licenses just to be on the safe side for Systems Manager. We'll choose our server, our Acme server that we created earlier. Let's put 100 in and let's click Get. Now you should get a notification via email when the license has been granted to you. But we're just going to skip over to the Meraki dashboard now. We'll go to Systems Manager and VPP. And you'll see there's no licenses, but we're syncing the VPP data. And you'll see in a second that the Systems Manager licenses will appear. We can now go to, uh, we can now click for sync just in case it's taking some time or just in case you've made lots of changes. And there we go. So now we can go to Systems Manager and Applications, or Apps rather. We should have just the one in here and we're going to click on this. And what we're going to do is just make sure that all of the relevant settings are ticked. You don't have to match these, but these are sensible ones nonetheless. And where we say do not use VPP, we're going to use VPP device assignment. And we've got all devices here for the scope. We'll click save. And this is going to push down the systems manager application to all devices. And there we go. We're all done. Thank you.